Hi everybody, welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about some terminologies of RPA. So when you start building RPA, you should be familiar with the basic terms of RPA, what you are going to use. Like in the integration, you use connection, you use adapters, you create <clears throat> integration using patterns, you have lookups. Similarly, RPA has its own terminologies that you need to be aware of. So let's begin. The first thing first is robot connection types. So you can consider a connection type is like a template which help you to gather what information you require to access the application. Unlike an integration, a robot does not need any information about an application security protocol or its API. Like when you create a connection using adapter, you have to provide the API details, you have to provide the security details and connectivity agent and all. But connection type is like, you can say a template, which will let you know and which will help you to add the parameters that's required to access the application. A robot typically needs only a little information about the application or a web page that you're trying to connect via robot, such as a URL and its credentials. So you list the fields, you have to create the fields. Hey, you need URL, you need username, you need password. So you will create one connection type and you will use this connection type to create robot connection. You list the field that a robot needs to connect to an application in a robot connection type. So by default, RPA provides one connection type, which is known as Oracle RPA web login. This is the predefined connection type, like you have various adapters available. Similarly, Oracle gives this as a predefined connection type. So here, in case you want to create your connection, custom connection type, you can create using that add button, you enter the name, and here you add the properties. So maybe you wanted to access the Salesforce application. To access the Salesforce application, what are the properties you need? Maybe you need URL, maybe you need username, password. So you will keep adding those uh, properties here, right? And here you will see Oracle RPA web login is the predefined one and you can create your custom one like we have here. Second is connection. After your connection type is created, you will create connection based on the existing connection type where you will provide the actual values. So you must specify the parameter that a robot needs in a robot connection. You and you specify values for those parameters. So like when we create the connection type, we add properties, URL, username, password. So where you will specify those values, you will specify those value in the robot connection. Okay, like a username is a parameter and you will add a value XYZ as example.com. So, and every robot connection must be based on the robot connection type. So first thing first, you have to create robot connection type. And then while creating the robot connection, you have to choose which type you want your connection based upon. So here, see, you are creating, so this is your available connection type. And then while you will create robot connection, you will choose the existing robot connection type and then you will give a name and the, it will ask URL username password like if you chose this RPA web login to create a robot connection, it will have three values and it will ask all those three properties here. The third, so like this Oracle web login, you see Oracle RPA web login is the connection type. Then environment and environment pool. An environment is nothing, it is like a computer or physical machine or the virtual machine where instances of your robots run. So you would be needing a machine where you will run your agent, the robot agent, which you will discuss in the next slide. Like you have a connectivity agent which you 
install on your virtual machine. Similarly, you have to run robot agent on some instance. So, and then you have an environment pool. Environment pool is similar to a cluster and is a collection of computers or virtual machines. So you can have two virtual machines where you will run the robots and you can have one environment pool where you will add both the virtual machines. So for example, you say, hey, I wanted to run two robots in single minute and one robot takes one minute. If you will run parallel sequentially, of course, two instances will take two minutes. But if you run in parallel, you need two instances or two virtual machine to run your agent. And then you will add both the environments in one environment pool. So what you will do, you will create an environment pool, let's say robot pool. And here, after your robot pool is added, you have to add environment, which will open your machine, which you have used to run agent. Okay. Then <clears throat> port is robot agent. So you install a robot agent on every environment, which is nothing, which is a computer or virtual machine. You can install this agent on your local machine as well, where a robot runs. The robot agent runs the instances of the robots on these environments. So a robot agent is very similar to a connectivity agent when an integration must connect to a resource on a private or on premises network, whereas robot agent used to run a robot. So here we can see it is waiting for the robot to run. This is a screen, little screen of your robot agent. Then you have a recorder. <clears throat> recorder is a very important part of the robots. The recorder is nothing. It is a Google Chrome browser extension that you use to build robots. So everyone who builds robot must install the recorder. The recorder is basically used to record the steps of the UIs that you basically perform. Like whenever you want to log in into the ERP application and then you go to the purchase orders and then you click on a purchase order or requisition detail or something else, then these are the steps. And these are the steps that you will record using recorder. So when you will start recorder, it will ask hey, which, which browser tab you want to record. And after you click one browser tab, it will start recording. And then you have to tell hey, this is a step that you need to record. As a developer, you have to record all the steps. It can be two steps, it can be five, it can be 10. A recorder is very important part. Next is native robot actions. After your robot is completed, you may need to test. Testing you can do, but write how you want to run your robots. So you can run robots via integration. So robot action is used to call the robot from the integration as you call integration using integration action. So natively, this action was developed and available in the integration action palette. And once your robot is activated, you can call those robots from integration using that robot action. So you see in the integration palette, you have this robot flow action. And once you select it, it will ask, hey, which robot you want to run? So it will give you all the activated robots. So these are the terminologies that you need to be familiar with when you are working with RPA. So I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.